Hi guys, this video is brought to you by A. A. Shah's Young IAS. And in today's video, we are going to decode the MHCT law entrance exams for 12th standard students as well as the 15th standard students. Basically, the three-year LLB course and the five-year LLB course. Before moving ahead, let us first answer the age-old question of why law. So let me first tell you that law is not restricted to courtrooms as Bollywood has portrayed. Neither do you need to be a good liar to be a good lawyer, which the general stereotype is. Having said that, let us see what are the opportunities you get once you pursue law. You can enter the field of litigation and you can further choose your field with respect to civil law or criminal law. There are various other specializations, again, for in furtherance of these fields. You can choose to be a taxation lawyer. You can get into the field of insolvency and bankruptcy. If you are somebody who is tech savvy, you can also enter the new field of technology law. You can pursue intellectual property rights as a career. You can also be a legal analyst or legal advisor in any of the companies. It's not restricted to law firms. Any company who is working on a large scale level, everyone has a legal team these days. You can even join these companies and be a legal advisor for them. You can also get into document drafting. You can specialize in the same. You can enter the corporate sector. If you are somebody who enjoys journalism or if you want to pursue a career in media, you can also become a legal journalist. Further, you can also be a government lawyer and represent your government. Now, Judge Advocate General is a very respectable position as you would be working with our army. Further, you can also enter the field of judicial services. And if you are somebody who likes research or who wants to pursue teaching as a career, you can also become a law professor. Now, let us see the difference between the three-year LLB course and the five-year LLB course. First, let us see the eligibility criteria. The three-year LLB course is only for students who are graduates. So the eligibility criteria is graduation. And for undergraduation, you have to pursue the five-year LLB course. Or you can do a bachelor's degree of three years and then do a three-year LLB course after 12th. Further, this is a very common question which a lot of students have before pursuing law. That whether they are previous, field, uh, previous degree with respect to arts, science or commerce matters. So no guys, it does not matter. Neither does it matter in the three-year LLB course nor does it matter in the five-year LLB course. Even if you have pursued a professional degree like BMM or BMS, you are equally eligible for pursuing law. Moving ahead, let us see the total marks for the entrance exam. The MHCET for three-year course and the MHCET for five-year course, both are 150 marks each. And you have one question for one mark and you have no negative marking in both of these entrance exams. Let us see the difference in marks allocation. The three-year course is very similar to the five-year MHCET. However, it does not have mathematical ability as a section. However, the five-year course covers all the aspects such as general knowledge, current affairs, logical reasoning, English, and legal aptitude. Having said that, let us see when and why to choose the five-year LLB course. So first of all, you should have an inclination towards law. And if you're very sure that this is the field you want to pursue in future, the best time to get into it would be after 12th. And even if you're somebody who wants to pursue a different professional degree such as CA or CS, even then, the five-year course is very beneficial to you as you can pursue both the degrees simultaneously and further, it also saves one year. We'll get into how does it save one year shortly. But before that, let me tell you, if you are already a graduate, then the course you need to choose is the three-year LLB course as you have already invested three years in your bachelor's degree. The eligibility criteria for both the courses are 55%. So if you're pursuing the three-year LLB course, you need to have 55% in your graduation degree. If you're pursuing the five year course, you need to have 55% in the 12th standard degree to become eligible for appearing in these entrance exams. Moving ahead. Let us see how does the five year LLB save you one year? So if you can look at the diagram uh, drawn in your screen, you can see that the three year LLB course is after graduation. So Essentially, you have spent three years in graduation in a normal degree, and then you would be investing three more years in the LLB degree. So in a sense, you have invested six years in total. If you see the five-year LLB course, it's an integrated degree of five years, 
and you get two bachelor's degree. Even if you are pursuing the three-year course, you are going to have two bachelor's degree as LLB is also a bachelor's degree. And if you are considering the five-year course, you have one degree which is going to be integrated. If you look at the colleges in Maharashtra, usually it is BLS LLB. So that is how you will save one year because in essence it's going to be twelve plus five, and the three-year course is twelve plus six. Now let us see the breakup of subjects in both the entrance exams. The subjects are very common and the marks allocation is a little bit here and there with reference to English, which is 50 marks in the three year course and 30 marks in the five year course. Logical reasoning and English is 40 marks for the five year course and it's 30 marks for the three year course. General knowledge is vice versa. And even if you see the legal aptitude and legal reasoning, it's 40 marks for the five year course and 30 marks for the three year course. The only difference in sections is the mathematical ability section, which is uh, there in the five year course entrance exams, but it's not there in the three year LLB course. Now, this is the list which you can pursue, um, which you can you can also very easily Google the list of colleges which are which offer five year LLB course in Maharashtra. There are 100 plus colleges which you may apply to. It would depend on your own CET score and the cutoff of the colleges. So a few colleges which you can look at your in your screen is the Government Law College, ILS Law College, Pune, SVKMS, Praveen Gandhi College of Law, Rizvi College, MKES College, etc. You can easily get this list online. Even the three-year LLB course has 100 plus colleges which you may apply to in Maharashtra. For instance, the Government Law College, KC Law College, Jitendra Chauhan College of Law, etc. There are a lot of colleges who have specific degrees and specific colleges for the same. If you look at SVKM, they have one college specifically for the five year course, which is Praveen Gandhi College of Law. And for the three year course, they have Jitendra Chauhan College of Law. However, there are a lot of colleges who offer both the degrees together. If you look at Government Law College, it has both the five year course as well as the three year course. Even the Rizvi Law College for that matter and even ILS Law College Pune. You can easily access this list online. Now, let me just give you a brief introduction about our AASHA's Young IAS Coaching Center. So we are an academic and scholarship and competitive exam coaching center. We have coached over 12,000 students in various competitive exams. The reason why we have introduced the LLB entrance exam coaching is after seeing the plight of students who aspire to become a lawyer, but they are exploited by the so-called big coaching classes. Therefore, we aim to provide the best coaching with personal attention and full support till you get admission in your choice of college. To know more, you can contact us at the address and the contact number which is reflected on your screen. You can visit our website to get to know more about the MHCT program. You can also email to us and all these details will also be visible to you in the description box. Thank you.